right, guys, I'm back. It's been, you know, a week or so, maybe two weeks since I've done a video. It's It's been wet, been raining. I mean, you can see the sky now. You know, we've got a chance of about an inch of rain tonight. We've had close to 12 inches in the last three and a half weeks, so I've not been able to get much done. But I wanted to show you what we did get done on the garden. I laid a couple of rows out today. Just, you know, we've got our turnips and our beets that'll be going on the ground. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll have them in and ready to go. But for the last video I did, I was out in the garden with the tractor. And I was showing you the trees up around the edge of the garden. And some trees out in the garden that we needed to move. But we've got all of those dug up. You can see the ground here. There was a whole bunch of trees piled up here around our old chicken pen. We've got all those gone. I think I dug 27 stumps. Well, stumps and trees. About half of them still had trees standing on them. I went, just took the excavator and just pushed them over and jerked the stump up out of the ground. And the other half actually had stump. You know, where stumps where I cut the trees down, I had to dig. The little calf pen here, we're going to move it and set it on the edge of the garden, use it to put the uh, tiller and the mulch layer and all that stuff in, keep it out of the weather. So we're just going to utilize that for the garden instead of putting it down with the uh, with the calves. There was a cross fence right here behind this. You can see some fence posts and stuff laying, you know, some old fence bought up. We, just, we took that down yesterday, got it down to where we can open all this up from the cross fence all the way back. Way back there where the greenhouse is going to set up. That way we've got roughly 120 yards, 130 yards, something like that. But as you can see, you can come all the way around the garden. A couple of my old big tractor there with my rip plow on it. But all the trees all the way around the garden are gone. Everything's gone. The old fencing is put, you know, has ta been taken down. And we've got everything, everything done. Up this side here... Where the tractors were is where the old fence and we had some trees in there. I think five or six trees. I didn't dig those stumps because they're in the old fence line. The garden will stop there anyway coming down. I pretty much just dug the stumps that were in the garden. Where we're going to need to plow and till. To where I don't have to worry about you know trying to plant or run my mulch layer around the stumps. I got all those gone. And all of this around here. That's the greenhouse on the ground back there. Got it delivered the other day. I'll try to get it put up sometimes this summer. That way we'll have it this fall. Well, I will. I'll have to get it put up because we're going to need it this fall to get get our vegetables in for our winter market. You can see it's laying there. But where that was, you know, all this were trees. And come all the way around. This fence line here had trees all up it. And you can see they're all gone. You can see the hardwood back there where it was logged last summer. So everything's out of the garden now. It's ready to go. Look back through there. That's two and a half acres roughly of of good ground ready to put vegetables in. Probably around the 1st of April is when I'm looking at having everything put in. But, you know, of course, the, uh, the cold weather stuff. I'll have broccoli, cauliflower, uh leeks and chard i'll have that in probably next week two weeks at the most i'll have probably eight or ten rolls of that stuff put in because it can still handle frost if we get one so i'm not real concerned about that but i wanted to give you a little little rundown a little look see we did get our mulch layer in i hadn't done a video since it came in hadn't had a chance been raining but i'll walk up here and kind of let you look at it. I laid these rows out that I'm planting my greens and my beets in. I didn't put the plastic on it and because it makes a raised bed. I just run it through and made me a couple raised beds. That way if we do still get some pretty heavy rain, maybe the rain will stay. You can see them here. Maybe the rain will stay off the top of the plants and kind of run down the rows. You can kind of see them up through there. I've got three of them laid out ready to go. So, 
maybe it'll maybe it'll work out the way I want it to. Not for sure, but I got to try to do something because I need to get my greens and beets in the ground. And we're still we're supposed to have rain tonight and rain half a day tomorrow, about an inch, inch and a quarter is what they're calling for. So I wanted to go ahead and lay these out and see how the rain's going to run through them. And if the rain runs in between them and kind of doesn't blow any out, then I know I can get my seeds put in. And not, you know, if I do get a heavy rain, not worry about it washing everything away because they'll be up, you know, they're five and a half inches tall. So that'll kind of keep most of the rain out of them, keep them from blowing them away, you know, washing them away. There's the tractor and there's a little mulch layer. It's from Notes, a little 36 inch plastic mulch layer makes about a 22, 20, 22 inch bed across the top. And that's what I used a little bit ago to put the, uh, put these rolls in so hopefully i'll have some videos of us getting this planted i've still got to move that little shed up out of the garden to where i can get everything tilled up next week you know get it turned over get some grass killed what little bits out there that way we'll be ready to lay our rolls out get our water system in and start planting in a month because the first of april is what we're shooting for a little pile of compost here that was scraped up from where the calves were eating their hay That'll compost, you know, this summer and probably this winter. I'll turn it twice and it'll be ready to go in the greenhouse this winter. So that's it. I mean, give you a little look, see what we've got. Looks good. Excited. Ready to get going. So until next time, we'll see you. Bye.